Hey everyone, what's up? This is Stephen Casey Railpin here, and welcome to another model railroading update. So as you can see, I have some new rolling stocks I'd like to show you guys today. So as you can see, I have some new Amtrak stuff. So the first one I have is a Walters Proto. This is the 85 foot Pullman Stand Superliner. I believe this is a Superliner One. So this is in the in the current Amtrak scheme. You can, I believe it's like you know. I believe this is the Phase 6 or Phase 5 or however you want to call it, but it doesn't matter. I believe. So I have a coach here because, you know, when Walters announced that they're bringing back the Superliners, they only just did the coach. They didn't do, like, you know, the, you know, like the sleepers, the transition sleepers, dining cars, lounge cars, or a coach baggage. They only just did the coach, so I was able to pick one up from Walters. So I got that, and also I have another Kato piece, so I got another Kato, so it's another Superliner liner, so I actually bought both of these off of Hiawatha Hobbies, because, you know, in case you don't know, Hiawatha Hobbies is actually one, a pretty good store, I've never been there in person, because I've never been to the state of Wisconsin before, but I've ordered from their website several times, you know. The shipping is really good. They got some very decent prices and the, and all that because they they have discounted some of their products. You know, it's it's really cool. It's one. So if you have never shot from Hiawatha Hobbies, I suggest you you should check it out one day because they got some really good deals off their trains. So so I picked up so those. So now that I have a total of eight super liners, so it's yeah. So it's really cool that I have. Two more, so that way I can extend the Southwest cheap. Because I, for those who don't know, I just want to thank my friend uh, who's a good subscriber. He is a KCMO Rail fan. I'll put a link to his description so if you guys want to sub to his channel, because he's got some really cool content from. Because he's a he's a good buddy of mine who films really good train videos, and he he also films really good videos of the Amtrak Southwest chief. Because of his videos, I've seen he. He is he inspired me to basically get more superliners because I noticed that the Amtrak Southwest Chief is making their super their superliner trains a lot you know like a little bit longer now like to like seven or eight superliners because every time I watch his videos of the Southwest Chief there's like now eight of them instead of six which is like because usually six cars is usually what you see on like the Sunset Limited but now the Southwest Chief as of now is making is now adding more coaches, like back to their normal concepts of like eight of them. So, so yeah. So anyways, I'll unbox these for you guys and then you'll see what they look like outside the box. All right, so here they are outside the box. As you can see, here is the the sleeper car for Kato. So here it is, right here. It looks very nice and it's pretty much, and it's also pretty much lightweight as well. It's got a really nice interior. Because I believe these are all the compartments of the, like, the dorms where the passengers who have paid their tickets for sleeper cars get to like sleep in there and then for the night and just, you know, relax and all that. It's really cool. They got some great detail. Look at that. That's awesome. So, whoops. I accidentally hit the... Very nice. Lots of good detail. So there's that. And here's the Walters Proto coach. So as you can see, the coach is really nicely done too. Look at that metallic paint. And it's got a really nice interior. And all that. Very nice. So, And you can see the, the for the coach, there's no number on it. So basically, basically for the athlete, so for the Amtrak stuff, they usually don't come with road numbers, so they come with these decals, so you can see it was included, so you can like, you know, cut out your own decal, you can see, lots of, you know, that, it's really cool, and then you can just put it on, locomotive, on the Superliner yourself, so I think they include like four sets of each. And what's also really surprising is they even have, I think they have a road number of that, of that one Superliner coach that was involved in the, 
in the 1993 Sunset Limited crash, you know, that one that crashed in Mobile, Alabama. One of them, I believe, was uh, 30, which is 34040. So it's, so it's 34040. So I, right there, you can see. Right there. So they got that too. So that's actually really cool. They got that row number. So that way, so that could be one of the row num the row numbers I might put on the superliner on this coach because I'm really glad that that it's basically not let numbered so you can just do this yourself. So yeah. So there's that. And also something I'd like to point out, so about the Kato Superliner I recently got, I realized here's my other one I have. As you can see, they're both numbers, duplicate numbers, which, is a, which is a little bit odd, but who knows? But it's all right. I might think about trying to renumber this at one point, one of them, one point, because you know, being duplicate row numbers, because basically Kayla just did one row number each for their when they brought back the super arms and HO scale. So that's just how it is. So that's just a little bit of an update on my new rolling stock. So. Hope you guys enjoyed this video, and I'll see you guys next time. Okay, have a good day, everybody.